This is Kim from, <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> false start. Hi, this is Kim from Dorothy's Daughter. Welcome to my channel. Today's live chat, we're going to be talking about sewing organization. Um, I'm going to be putting together a different sewing room soon, so I thought maybe I'd get some tips from you all, um, and I'll be right back. Well, I just thought I would um, take a minute and thank you all first before we got chatting too much here. And if you are watching this and you've never seen me before, um, then you might not know what's going on in my life. But my husband of 45 years suddenly, three weeks ago, um, collapsed and was not able to be re resuscitated. And I lost the love of my life, which I still can't say without crying. So I've taken some time off and um, it's not going to heal fast, but I am at the point where I'm ready to, to jump back into my channel and the sewing world and um, it's been a quick three weeks of things that needed to be done. Um, I will be moving, so that's something that um, is new in my life, which is why I'm talking sewing room ideas because I'm going to be setting up a new one. Um, this house is not um, livable for me by myself because I can't do steps real well. And so Kevin was my legs a lot of times. So um, I uh, won't be able to stay here. Um, so I'll be selling this one. But because of my husband blessed me with wonderful life insurance, I'm able to buy another home in the meantime. All on one floor, four miles from my daughter, nine miles from my son, which is great. And um, it will be a lot less square feet for me to clean and no steps. So, and a fenced in yard for my dogs. So it was really a perfect thing. And um, when I bid on the house, I wasn't sure if I'd get it. So I put a seven on the end of it. And the realtor asked me why, you know, on the end of the number. She said, why? And I said, because seven is God's perfect number. So then I know he's in this. And that if it's supposed to be accepted offer, then it will be. So it was. And so I'm pretty excited about that little house. Um, I'm sad to leave here because we built this house 26 years ago. But then we had a booming family <laughs> and uh, kids at home and, you know, all kinds of things happening here. And now there's just me. So, um, but I'm not married to a house, so I'm taking all my memories with me. So, um, while I'm sad, I also know that I need to move forward. I'm never going to say move on, okay, because we don't move on from people that we love. We move forward into whatever God's going to write next in my story. So anyway, enough about that. I want to hear how you're doing. And I also want to talk about sewing room ideas. So in my new house, I have two living areas. So there's a family room that was added on, a really large family room, and the room just a slight bit smaller that is the living room. Well, I do not need a living room. I don't need two living areas for one person. So that living area, which is nice and big, is going to be my new sewing space. So I'm really excited about that because I will have about twice the amount of room as I have now. So I'd love some ideas because um, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be working on that. So let's see. I'm going to catch up on the comments here. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Hello to everyone. Hi, Brenda, Chris, Joey. My I can't stop my voice from warbling because I love you guys so much. This sewing community has rallied behind me like nothing I've ever seen before. So thank you, my church family and my sewing community. I couldn't have done it without you guys. I mean, I just couldn't make it. Um, thank you, Nikki. Hello. Aloha. I wish I was where you are. <laughs> Creative Grammy. Mary Ellis. Nice to see you. Thank you. Hi. Uh, Linda, I think. 
Thank you so much, Sally. I'll tell you about the update on my surgery. It's going to be put off for just a little while. I go on Medicare in November, and I talked it through with my doctor. He didn't think that during coping from a loss would be a good time to face surgery, and I agree. So I'm going to have to endure the pain a little longer and have it in November because then Medicare will pay for it. Um, currently, with the COBRA that I have to pay, I would have to pay $4,500 out of pocket. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to wait for that Medicare. <laughs> so, um, but I know that's coming, So, and that's part of the reason I'm doing the move, because my daughter will be able to help me if she's four miles away versus 35 or whatever it is now. So they're 30 minutes away, both my uh, my daughter is, and then my son's maybe 25 minutes away. So that's kind of far for them to, you know, be going back and forth and checking on me or whatever. So this will be much, much better um, for my family. Thank you all so very much. Hello, Michelle, Libby, Lynn. Wonderful. Good to see you guys. All right. So that's what's happening in my life, and I'd love to hear what's happening in yours. Um, I, When Kevin built me this room, I was a Mother's Day present, ironically. Um, but five, six years ago, I don't remember. And then it's it slowly added things to it. I added a uh, serger because I, you know, at that point I didn't even have one yet. Um, I, I had one, but it wasn't good. So he got me a serger. Actually, I'm on my second serger. Uh oh, why is this doing this? My video is jumping. Okay, I'm not sure. I must not have been connected real well. Uh, if it starts jumping again and I don't see it, let me know. Hi, Verna. Nice to see you too. Hello, Elizabeth. Um, Lynn is changing her uh, room into a sewing room as well. So that'll be fun. We'll discover together. So I have a lot of stuff crammed into a really small space here. Plus with the addition of, you know, like this uh, thing that I goes over my table to do tutorials. Got one on my sewing machine. I've got one to put on my serger, but that table isn't sturdy enough. So I'm gonna need to work that out um, in the new space. And um, I plan to dive into my channel more than ever. Um, it's gonna be my therapy. <laughs> it's gonna be my filling the lonely nights. Um, uh, it's something that I've always done just for me, so it's not like I see him in every corner up here. Um, it's gonna have a little bit of a, uh, what's the word? Re reinvention, I guess, if you will, um, of just being more and more active and more videos, more tutorials. And um, as I start to feel better, and get moved, I am going to be um, really proactive about my channel. So um, I should have the time to do it now. <laughs> um, I had stepped down from my position at the church, just, this is God, you know, I had already stepped down and he, uh, God knew that I would need to ahead of time. He, this, none of this was a surprise to God. So, um, I had stepped down from my worship leader position at the church, and um, so I also have more time because of that. So I'm going to use this time between now and my surgery to build and um, get this channel grown. Um, my goal is to be at maybe 20,000 uh, subscribers by the end of the year. I'm at, what, 18.3 now, I think, so it's doable. So we're gonna we're gonna party when it's uh, twenty thousand for sure. Let's see it catch up here. Hi Heidi, Gail, nice to see you. Um, 
Oh, Creative Grammy has a guest room, so come visit. I will. <laughs> um, if I ever can muster up the resources to go to Hawaii again, I certainly will. I love it there. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you so much. Um, oh, a ping pong table. What a great idea for cutting, right? Is that what you would use it for? Um, I'll show you how I store my patterns. Um, someone just asked about patterns. Um, let's see, I had one here a second ago. I use these manila envelopes. Oh, I put them on the other side of the room. I use big manila envelopes. And what I do now is that sometimes I just have a few pieces um, because I print the ones that I don't have to adjust. Um, I use the projector. And then the ones that I need to do some adjustment, sometimes I don't do it on the projector and I just do it on paper. So then I will um, just stick that in a manila folder, write the name on it, and then I have it uh, by designer. So all my love notions is in one place, all my itch to stitch in another, etc. So that works pretty good. Brenda, yes, they are. Um, I'm glad that you watch. We have the best pastor. Um, whoops, I'm hitting the wrong thing. We have an extremely good pastor, and he, um, he's been so, not, not only is he wise and a good speaker, um, he was here at my house while they were still doing CPR. Um, I called 911, and then as soon as they got here, I called my kids first, and his sister, and then um, my pastor. And of course, he lives around the corner pretty much, so he was here. Um, with me through it all. And it meant the world to me to have somebody like that here. And um, it was really good for my kids as well. And he even assisted my sister-in-law um, and brother-in-law when they went to tell um, Kevin's mom, who's 92. And I think of, you know, I think it's, I mean, it is terrible that I lost my husband, but can you imagine she's 92 and she lost her baby on Mother's Day. So, um, I felt super bad for her. So um, he went with them to tell her, and that was really sweet. So it's a great, great church family, and um, I'm going to be moving kind of far away. I'm going to try to get back here as much as I can, but my kids go to a great church up there as well, so I'll probably do kind of half and half because um, I don't think I can drive this far back this way every week, um, at least not at first. So... Okay, Verna says she has a really small room. One of her best organizers is Clear, whoop, clear Pocket Organizer. Oh, that's a great idea. I don't think I've ever seen those. So send me a link and we'll look at it online. Uh, let's see. Um, she, Linda keeps her patterns rolled up if they haven't been used yet, folders if they have been. Oh, Deb, sorry. I'm sorry. Deb, I don't know why I, you know, my brain is old. <laughs> Forgive me. Lenana, hi. Nice to see you. She says, uh, let's see, you're in my thoughts. Thank you so much. Oh, you, oh, sweetie, we need to talk. <laughs> I sometimes, I just, I have one friend that's been through it recently, and um, she, just talking to her has made it made it really easy. There are, or not easy, but made it a lot better. There are grief share groups here, um, but they're done for the summer. It's really weird. Why? I don't know why they quote, they, they don't think people need it in the summer. So, um, so really, Lenona, Lenona, if you don't mind, I'm going to send you my um, contact info, and I would love to talk to you. For a little bit just I think sometimes we can support each other and then another piece of this what happened is um, this is part of why I've been gone so long too six days after my husband my sister's husband uh, basically same thing dropped over as a, with a heart attack I mean like it was just the weirdest thing um, 
I didn't get to go down there because I got COVID at the funeral. So I just, it, it's just been the craziest um, month I've ever had in my life. But um, I'm here to talk about it. Kevin would be proud of me. I think the way that I've done things, I think he'd be proud of me. I know that he would love that I'm not going to go up and down steps because he always worried about me falling again. So, um, we go forward. Not on, we go forward. Because you don't ever want to move on from somebody that, that's been part of you for that long. I can't move on, but I will move forward. So, um, somebody told me that and I love that analogy of moving forward. Uh, Heidi says I'm converting my guest room. So far a white metal toolbox from Home Depot. That's a good idea. And Whitney, she says I'm trying to print a couple seamwork patterns for most of the day. They're in downloads but can't figure out how to get them to print. What are you using a Windows computer or are you on an iPad or uh, let me know what you're on. Um, yes, we will talk for sure. Lenona, I hope I'm saying your name right. Oh, is it is it Yvonne? I think I remember that it's Yvonne. I'm sorry. Um, thank you, Heidi. Thank you. D, thank you. My surgery is going to be in November now um, when I go on Medicare. That's the only way I can do it right now. So. Thank you, Bernadette. Thank you, Lynn. Um, yes, I will never stop talking about him. These are Thomas Thomas tank pants that uh, all I have to do is hem. And I did the welt pockets on them. And uh, they were all ready to go. Just I just had marked them all ready for the hem. I was going to hem them that night. So um, his brother's the same size as him, except he's got shorter legs. So I'm going to cut them off and give them to him. But I didn't do my Thomas Tank or, or Thomas Track. I always keep wanting to say Thomas Tank. Um, I, I, uh, did, I get, ugh, I'm sorry, my tongue. Um, I, um, I'll do the Thomas Track Pants uh, review. A little down the road, I will make some for my grandsons and we'll review the, from the kids' side. But um, it's a great pattern, so don't ever hesitate. Um, it's great that it's available for men now. And I still want to do a welt pocket. Um, I was going to do a big welt pocket tutorial with that. And I um, just can't do it yet because I just did it on those. And it was going to be combined with that video and I, I just need to um, wait a little while. I am putting out a video tomorrow. Um, it was one that actually um, Kevin filmed uh, or I filmed him. He showed how he did these framed uh, pegboards for me with the um, mitered corners and they're almost like in photo frames but like this one is four foot by eight foot behind me. And um, so we did a video together of him um, putting one of those together. And it stops before he hangs them because we never got to that part. But I'll do my best. And what I'm going to try to do is show you that there's, there's, some, there's a spacer back there that they use to make them come off of the wall a little bit so that the hooks can go in. And I'm going to try and get my camera in there to, to show you one. And um, that is uh, going to be my next video. So tomorrow, I've already gone through all the footage of him, <laughs> which wasn't easy, but um, it was kind of sweet. It was, it was really sweet, actually. So on with sewing. Um, thank you so much, Chris. Yes, he does take us through the storm. And... Um, he doesn't always calm the storm. Sometimes he calms the child. So um, I am, I'm doing okay. I really am. Um, I've been able to make decisions and 
I'm learning all kinds of things about paying bills that I've never had to do before. I went from my wedding night, I mean from my parents' house to my wedding night. I have never lived on my own. So I have a lot to learn. <laughs> so, um, but my kids are helping me and uh, I'll get it. I'll get it done. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy Ann and Libby. Thank you so much. Yeah, you know, uh, Libby, I am glad that we, um, I'm almost glad that it didn't go up before because I think it, it's a perfect first tutorial video for me to start back. And, um, he was such a good teacher. Um, that was one of the things that my kids said about him. You know, he was the perfect homeschool dad. So I think when you um, see this video, you'll see what a good teacher he was. And, um, and it'll help you. Um, I don't know. It's just a tribute for me to be able to do that one first. And um, gosh, I wasn't going to do this, you guys. <laughs> but it's hard not to. But... Um, that's going to be my first video. Sorry, I'm not going to do this every time, I promise. It's just the first time, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> so, anyway. So, I'm looking through what I want to find. I have this dress, uh, this sewing table that I bought, um, it was really inexpensive. It was under $300 from Walmart. It was walmart.com. It's called a uh, South Shore, um, and it has a pull-out, like, drawer system and everything. I'm mean, thinking about getting an identical one for my um, serger and uh, cover stitch because they're on the same table, but that sewing table is old, and it's really... I put the this kind of clamp up there for my uh, camera, and the table shakes way too much. Um, it was like, you know, that's not, you can't like see what somebody's doing when it's doing that. So um, thank you. Thank you, Anne. That's a very sweet way to put it. Um, somewhere in heaven, there's a sea of tears that God has collected. <laughs> and uh, believe me, I've added to it a lot. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Yep, my, my pastor says just put one step in front of the other. And my dad, years ago, always said just do the next right thing. And that's what I'm trying to do. The next right thing. So it was definitely over time for me to be um, back here uh, doing what I love to do. I really, I missed it. Um, it's been a little hard and I think it's just because it just like going back to normal just feels weird and it's not ever going to be the same normal that it was before. Um, and I'm, I'm understanding that I'm getting to an understanding of that. Um, I wish he would have told me where he put things. <laughs> if so, it go, if, if you're, you know, if you're still less Bless you, if you still have your husband, go and ask him, okay, tell me, where is our marriage license? <laughs> where is, you know, all those things, right? Make sure you know where they are because he had his own little filing system and my daughter and I are trying to figure it out. Mostly we have, but it's, yeah, <laughs> difficult. So, um, thank you so much, everybody. I really appreciate it. Um, so I'm looking for another table. I was thinking maybe I might get one identical to it or just a nice sturdy desk of some kind. Um, has anyone seen anything like that? Or, um, But it's just got to be sturdier than that because, I mean, it really shakes. Um, my serger makes it shake really bad, and I need something a little more stable than that. And... Um, Everything else, like everything is so crammed in here that I think, you know, just spreading it out, having room for my mannequin and my tripod to be set up, just left uh, set up so I don't have to drag it out every time and things like that. So I'm um, looking forward to what I can do with that room. So my dear son-in-law is putting in a wood laminate floor for me and um, 
it's going to be super cute. So um, I'm excited. Sad, but excited, if that makes any sense at all. That's a great idea, Amy. Um, she says IKEA has great options. That is really a good idea. Um, yeah, um, both Amy and uh, Nikki said that. And um, let's see, uh, my pegboards, I have two of them. Obviously, the jewelry's got to come off the one because I'm glad I gave that up when I did because can you imagine trying to keep up with that too right now? Um, I've got to get the, the rest of that jewelry off of there and I'll organize my stuff. Um, spread, this one is so packed back here, I'll spread some of that out. And I think it'll be a, a real nice thing. So soon, someday here in the near future, I'm going to be doing another My Sewing Space video. <laughs> so that'll be fun to do. A lot of people are happy with the Husky adjustable work tables from Home Depot. They're not pretty, but sturdy. Hmm. I'm, are they paintable? Or, um... I mean, like, do can you paint them white or anything, or are they just like that metal? Um, hmm, I might have to check that out. Home Depot adjustable two twenty. Is that the same thing? Um, Um, I'm trying to decide if she means the same thing, but I'm going to look in there. Um, I'll ask my son. My son works for Home Depot. He, um, work, doesn't work in a store. He works for the corporate, but, um, I'm sure he can fill me in maybe, um, on what kind of table to get <laughs> if they have something there. So, um, yeah, I need some, something sturdy that, I mean, it is, uh, it is going to be the first thing you see when you walk in, uh, to, there's two doors on my house. It's weird, but, um, there's a front door where that new family room is. And then there's a front door where my sewing space is going to be. So it's, you know, kind of, uh, I'm going to put in two ring doorbells because I don't know which one people will use. Um, so I want to keep it somewhat looking nice because it will could be the first thing people see when they come to the door. So um, while I don't mind sturdy, if it can be sort of, you know, uh, painted or something so it doesn't stick out so much. I'll have to look at those. <laughs> I might take sturdy over pretty, though, any day. And, um, I have, um, my printer, uh, on a, my sublimation printer is on a bookcase and, um, my regular printer is on a file thing that I have in my bedroom. So I think I'll take that. I'll probably put that file thing in my sewing room as well. So I'll have both printers at the same place. And um, this table back behind me has my heat press, my Cricut heat press, and my Cricut. Um, so um, that probably, that setup will probably stay the same. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to be uh, starting a Pinterest board. I do have Pinterest boards, by the way. I look for... Um, Right now I've got one that I'm trying to put things for uh, teenager uh, patterns. And I've been scoping out like the gap and things for ideas of ways we can hack a pattern for my granddaughters. So um, if you want to check it out, I'm Dorothy's daughter on Pinterest as well. I'll have to get that link. Um, I just kind of started doing that. Um, and I've got another one for... Uh, kids and, and I think some I, I think I might have one for tops for me um, I think I have one that's tops that will go over my brace <laughs> so when I do have my surgery um, 
so far the best option that I've found over my brace is going to be the laundry day tea, but uh, but I don't have to worry about that for a little while. And I'm glad I didn't make them yet because it's going to be a whole different season now when I have the surgery. It'll probably be a lot easier to wear that brace in the winter than it would have been in the summer anyway. So, um, Anybody have questions about anything today? Oh, Mary Alice, that's okay. I'm sorry. It, it, it stuff, you know, you can't stop life from happening. And, you know, like I said, none of it was a surprise to God. So um, we move on. And I know some of you on here have been where I am right now. And I know Joey, I've talked to Joey a lot. And um, I want to talk to Yvonne and Honestly, um, I'm not alone in this. There's so many women who have lost their husbands. Um, and it's, it's uh, not a club I wanted to belong to. But being there, I really do want to connect with some other people that are going through that because it's a very unique thing. Um, it is, it's very different kinds of feelings, guilt, guilt things, and, you know, um, you know, things that you woulda, shoulda, coulda, you know, and all those things that you have whenever anybody dies, but especially when it's your spouse, it's, it's tough. So, anyway. A t-shirt with ties. Ah. Um, so printing the seam work downloads. Okay. Are you, did you say what you were on? Hmm. Uh, let me know, Anne, what, what you're on, whether it's an iPad or Windows computer. You might've said it, it might've got lost in the comments. My apologies. Um, Tiffany, that's very sweet. Thank you so much for that comment. I'm trying to find where I'm at in these comments. <laughs> There's a lot today. <laughs> trying to keep up. Uh, oh, you're in, okay, you're on an iPad, saved in Chrome. Okay, so they should be in your downloads folder, right? So you should be able to click that little arrow. Okay, let me, I'm gonna do this with my iPad. Um, so you open the files app, okay? Um, let me show you here. Mm, can't see it. Oh, that's because it's gone. Right here, this little icon with the folder. Boy, that's hard to see. Right here, folder. Whoops, that's my email. So you open it and then there's, you have over here, it's really hard to see on there, but you have the um, folders, different folders, and you can look on, this is on my iPad and then you click on downloads and then you should see the files and then you should be able to um, click on the arrow and do print like you would if it were any other file. I hope that helps. Trying to go to the bottom of the comments. <laughs> this is truly can't keep up today. I need a I need an admin. <laughs> okay, and um, 
York pattern this okay okay I opened the app can you try saving it in Safari it might make a difference maybe hmm I wonder if it didn't save as a PDF um, because of Chrome why don't you try using Safari and downloading it that way and then see if it might be easier Thank you, Claudia. This thing's ridiculous. I can't keep up with the comments, and they just, as soon as I click up to one, it scrolls past. So, um, This is what your dishwasher oh, looks like after one year. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. My iPad decided it was going to talk for me. <laughs> uh, let's see. iPad just had an update. Something always changes. You're right about that. Oh, let's see. Doesn't Your iPad doesn't talk to the printer. Okay. Um, in the file app, chose what I wanted. The print arrow won't highlight for me to click and send it to the printer. Uh, could it be that your printer's offline? So it'll do that if your printer's offline. Also, you could try to open it in Acrobat or something. Um, if you have the free reader um, on your iPad, you can open it in that maybe and just print it that way. All right. Okay. Hopefully, I don't know. So hopefully your question got answered and I, I lost it in the, there's so many comments today. I, I kind of got lost in them, but, um, I apologize for that. This is when you need a um, you need to have a, a like person monitoring comments. <laughs> if if we get any more, if we get any larger, we're gonna have to do that because like just now, I totally look. I know I'm not seeing every single one, but I will go back and read them all after I'm off for sure. And if there's any unanswered questions um, that don't get answered, please. Please definitely uh, let me know. So um, let's see. We um, okay. What are you sewing this week? Uh, I think that I am going to make some Sabrinas because I need some pants, and then I have. I'll show you these two fabrics. Um, let's go over here and get it. If you've, if you've seen the Little Lizard King uh, Parker, which is like a little gathered tiered dress uh, for little girls, I have this fabric and this fabric that came in Millie May, um, came in a Millie May uh, a grab bag kind of thing. Um, so it was a, like a mystery box. And I love the butterflies, and they're both ribbed, knit, and so I'm going to make Dottie a little dress, and another little girl that um, I've grown to love, that's a friend of mine's little girl. Um, I'm going to make her a little dress, and um, use those two fabrics together for uh, the little bodice, and then it's got sleeves that have a little flounce, and then tears all the way down. So be able to rotate the pattern and I thought they went really well together so I was pretty excited about getting those so okay let's see if I can catch up here
Oh, they do. You're right. You are so right. Um, Dizzy Quilt says the Seamwork ones uh, download as a zip file, and that is absolutely right. They do. So definitely you want to download it. At, uh, you want to unzip it first. So try. here's what you do is you, you click on the file in files. So click on it, and then it will open um, into a folder. So um, the York might have been different because it's a free pattern. I'm wondering if maybe that's why it was like saved differently. So sorry, my table shook. Um, but you should be able to just double click on that um, download and the zip file will extract for you automatically on the iPad. At least it does for me. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to post that out. That was a long time ago. <laughs> oh, dear. That comment was kind of out of context because it was right in the beginning. I'm trying to scroll down here so that I can share these comments, but they're scrolling faster than I can. All right. Oh, that's awesome. Bernadette's just learning how to use stretchy fabrics. That is great. That is really awesome. Thank you. I'm excited to, to do those, and I might do them little opposites, you know, like the red on top for one and the butterflies on top for the other. They do know each other, so it might be cute if they got together and played. Maybe I could do pictures with them or something. Um, oh, and then my new house. The garage is finished. It's not, a, it's not a garage anymore, but it's heated and air conditioned. It's detached away from the house, has two rooms, and one of them can be a shooting area for all my sewing. So um, that's really great because like in the winter time, I have the hardest time trying to photograph the outfits for Love Notions when I test or just for the channel. So that is going to be excellent um, to have that space. Um, I always wished I had a space like that. So. Uh, that's pretty cool. Libby threaded her serger for the first time. Awesome. That's great. Yeah, tank dresses this time of year must have. Um, yeah, I was actually going to make some sleeveless laundry day tees um, before my surgery, but I didn't, you know, I didn't get to that chance to do it. And it's a good thing because. I'm not going to need them in the summer now. I'll need them in the winter. So, just brought a serger and now sewing with jerseys. That's awesome. No, you know, knits are not hard. People think they're hard. They're different, but they're not hard. Um, just, you know, know when to stretch and when not to stretch, and you got it. So, there's times to stretch it and there's times to not stretch it. And then you you have it nailed <laughs> pretty much so all right well um, so pegboards are great and I'm going to be putting up a video tomorrow where Kevin is going to teach you how to frame the pegboard and I'll do my best to show you how they're hung <laughs> because that was a video we were going to get to and we didn't um, because of my you know, we were going to get to the ending of that video, and when I started having the back pain, we got derailed from that. So I will have to just kind of try and sneak around behind and show you how the spacers are. I believe they were just little spacer things that he got from uh, Home Depot or someplace so that it just would mount a little bit away from the wall. So um, if I have a hard time identifying it, I will... Um, take a picture and ask my son-in-law what it's called <laughs> and he'll know so all right oh that's okay Lynn no problem oh my goodness yeah well you know you can sew a big hem in your uh, Kathy Ann says her granddaughter's growing so fast 
make a big giant hem so that you can keep letting it out. Um, that's, that's always helpful because they do, they grow so, so, so fast. Let your sewing room evolve. Yep, that's a good idea. It already has <laughs> definitely evolved. And I think that it's going to be pretty fun to um, spread this stuff out. It's just going to feel like wonderful. Um, my island is smallish, so um, perhaps a ping pong table might be good for cutting. Um, I don't know. I really like it, though. So we'll see. <laughs> Um, I don't want it to feel crammed like this one does either because, you know, like I said, people are going to be walking right into there sometimes. Um, yes, Bird, I'm moving. I, um, I can't uh, maintain this house without my husband, um, payments or otherwise. Um, the steps are not feasible for me to live by myself here. So, um I bought a house, or I haven't closed yet, but I have an accepted offer on a house, and I will be moving as soon as um, as soon as we close and get my stuff together here. So I said, boys, <laughs> to my son-in-law and son, that my sewing room has to be the last thing we pack and the first thing we unpack, <laughs> so so that I don't have more downtime because I don't want any more downtime when I move. So. Um, hopefully that will be that way because I've already had enough downtime. I don't want to be gone anymore. Oh, thank you, Bernadette. Well, you, uh, will have a video that will show you just how to do it. Um, let's see. Made a shirt for the first time. That's awesome, Crystal. Copied from a shirt you already own. That's a great way to do it. Um, especially, you know, a lot of people like fuss over the crotch curve. Well, if you have a pair of pants that fit you really, really well, you can copy the crotch curve and then use that. And, it, and I've talked about this before with the crotch curve. It's not so much the exact measurements as it is the shape of it. Okay. So you can gain or lose a few pounds and it can expand, um, but relatively your, you know, proportions are going to stay, well, you know, unless you gain a lot of weight or lose a lot of weight, but um, there, it's going to stay sort of like if you gain a little, it might be like that, but it's going to stay pretty close. So you're going to, you can take that curve and um, just kind of eyeball and see if it kind of matches the pattern to know if you're going to need any more scooped out at the rear or uh, at the front. And if you have watched my uh, pant fitting videos, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, but I do use, uh, actually this pair of shorts that I'm wearing right now has a perfect crotch curve for me. And I've copied that uh, crotch curve and used it many times. <laughs> so. Oh, Yvonne, thank you. I am a little sad, but I didn't marry a house, and um, I'm taking all my memories with me, and Kevin would not want me to be unsafe, and he worried he worried sick about me falling again, so uh, I know that he would tell me to, uh, I know he'd tell me to go, <laughs> go for it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Libby, for watching those. Yeah. All right. I'll be taking it down to move. Right. So when I take it down, I'll have a little quick short to show you the the um, spacers. Okay. I'll promise that in the video. That's a great idea. I can kind of show it and um, just have that be a little addendum to the to the video. Um, and that way you'll be able to see how it was uh, done. So. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for being patient with me. I know a lot of you have, uh, you know, sent me so many um, sweet notes and um, posts on the Facebook group, and a lot of you have 
watched, <laughs> binge watched my videos. And I just thank you so much for all of that. Um, I promise you that uh, hanging with me is going to be worth it in the end. I'm going to have a lot of great uh, tutorials that you can reference. And I have big plans um, for this channel. And it's going to be my... Uh, going to be my thing, my most, you know, it's going to be my priority job because my, I mean, other than my family, of course, but um, I'm quite often alone these days. So um, now that I've done the first one, it's going to be easier, I think. So thank you so much uh, from the bottom of my heart for all the time, the prayers, the, oh, just amazing people in the sewing world. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you so much. So, but I still want to know what's going on in your lives because, you know, it's not about me. I love you guys. So, um, definitely keep me posted on that. And the, um, the Facebook group should be, um, uh, a place where you can catch up as well. Um, there have been a lot of posts on there lately, some requests for help and such. So uh, don't hesitate to go there if you don't haven't joined the Facebook group. It's Dorothy's Daughter Community. And um, I, if you tag me on a post, I will make sure to go look at it and, and answer your questions. So um, I don't see them all because, you know, there's a lot. So um, I try to read it every day, but I, I'll admit during this time I did miss some. Um, my daughter got on. Hopefully, um, hopefully you guys uh, saw her posts and things and um, updated people a little bit. And Ivy, my friend, who is also on here, she has updated you guys. So uh, hopefully, um, you know, they they kept it going, but um, I don't plan to be gone from there now. <laughs> so uh, let's see. What did Nikki say? Oh, thank you, sweetie. I appreciate that so much, Nikki. Um, I love you guys back, believe me. I don't know what I'd do without my sewing community. Um, and um, uh, the Love Notions family in particular, too. Um, can I just say those are great people? I'm just going to leave it at that. Great people. Um... Oh, Tracy went to San Antonio. Yeah, I'm actually going on the 17th. Uh, we have a family wedding, and we were I was going to go on the 24th. Uh, the wedding's the 25th, and I was coming back the 28th because I thought I would be in therapy. So my doctor had approved that I'd be able to go, um, but it turns out I can stay longer, so I'm leaving a week earlier than what I was going to. So that'll be nice to spend that time with my brother. So, well, y'all, I'm going to let you go and, um, won't be this, I'm going to try to be here next Wednesday again, for sure. And, um, you will see that video tomorrow and I'm going to try to do Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday for regular videos. Occasionally they might be Friday if they're love notions related and have a sale connected to them, <laughs> um, or, um, and, you know, they can move all over the week, but um, I'm trying to uh, at least do two a week, if not three. So, um, but the chat will be always on Wednesday. So, um, unless there's something going on, of course. Well, thank you so much. And I really appreciate uh, every one of you. And I will see you on the Facebook group and in the next video. So, don't hesitate to reach out if you have a question. God bless. Happy sewing.